Hi there, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for all of the requests for today's video. Last week, I shared what I eat in a day, and I had asked in that video if you would like me to share my supplements, and I had an overwhelming response that you did. So that is what we will be doing today. I will be walking you through and sharing everything that I take throughout the day. Now, bear in mind, we are all different, okay? So it probably will look like I take a lot. I do. I, I, I'm not going to deny it. Why? <laughs> because I always have. And when something is working for me, you know I stick with it. People love to tell other people what to do. No, it's what works for you. Always just do what works for you. I'm not encouraging my supplements on anyone. I'm only here to share. I'm not here to inquire or ask questions or look for input. I'm just sharing, that's all I'm doing. You figure out what you would like to take and what for, and if you want more research than what I provide for you in today's video, because I'm going to give just a small little tidbit on each supplement, if you want to know more, I highly encourage you to go to the web because you can find that information just as fast as I can. Just be careful where you're getting your information. If it is a promotion or someone is trying to make a sale, so it's marketing, that may not be the site you want to go on. Whenever I search for information on the web when it has to do with my health, I always go to functional medicine. Everything is always searched with a holistic approach in functional medicine. I also have had extensive training in supplementation when I originally became certified as a health coach. I chose to put my continuing education units into supplementation and diet. That is why I work with health and fitness in my coaching. If you want to know more about my coaching and the other areas I coach in and you're not familiar with that, you can go to the link in the drop down and you can go to my coaching website. I have five other coaches that are on there as well and we coach in many different areas. I don't want to take any more of your time. Let's jump into the supplements that I take. Oh, before we do, you have to decide when you are going to take your supplements throughout the day. I will be sharing with you how I set mine up and we'll kind of walk through it. I have a system, it's just what works for me. You have to figure out what works for you. If you want more assistance, book a session with me. Uh, sometimes people will leave me questions that really require a whole session designed for you. So just be careful when you keep, if you have questions, how in depth they're, they're going. If it's personalized service you're looking for or personalized coaching or help or assistance, let's book some sessions and, 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 and get you on that journey to health. The very first supplement I want to share with you is ashwagandha. I take this upon awakening with my 18 ounces of water that I drink before my workout. Ashwagandha is a powerful adaptogen that works to naturally reduce stress, boost thyroid function, and improve mood. It has also been known to help with alertness and improve memory. The other thing that I take upon awakening is SAMI. SAMI is proven to enhance mood and promote cognitive health. SAMI is essential for the healthy metabolism of the major brain transmitters, dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. That's a very hard one to say, norepinephrine. <laughs> I can do it. SAMI has been proven to promote joint comfort and mobility as well as support liver health and detoxification. The other supplement that I resource upon awakening if it is a workout day. My workouts take place at four in the morning, as you know, and I drink this Advocare Spark. Spark is a unique blend of more than 20 vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that work synergistically to provide a healthy and balanced source of energy. Spark contains an effective amount of caffeine to give you a quick boost. Spark also provides B vitamins to enhance your body's natural ability to produce and sustain its own energy. It also provides 
neural active amino acids that help increase your mental focus and alertness. As soon as I am done with my workout, I drink glutamine with BCAAs. I have a couple different ones that I resource and just bear in mind everything that I share with you today will be linked in the drop down box. Glutamine makes it easier to build lean muscle and to bounce back from tough workouts with a clinically dosed formula of glutamine and BCAAs. Let me just share that Geez, before I even did YouTube, I did a blog post talking about glutamine and BCAAs. I will have that linked, but I will also have the two different glutamines that I resource right now. Is glutamine going to make you have big muscles? No. <laughs> even lifting weights is not going to do that. We do not have the testosterone in our body for that to happen. So, don't worry about lifting heavy weights. I lift heavy weights and I am not a big muscle machine. Um, I'm just fit and lean. Well, when my diet is good. When my diet's on, on track, I'm lean. So it's just great for muscle recovery, but I would say read the blog post. And again, you can always search this information on the web under functional medicine. Now, when I am done with my workout, I haven't always taken fish oil because I eat a lot of fish, but, and so this is, I've taken it at times and I haven't at other times because I'm just such a big fish eater. But if you are not someone who has a lot of fish in your diet, I, I would say it's something to think about. Again, I'm not going to tell anyone what to take. You have to do you, but it is something that I encourage if someone asks me about it, if, if they're not eating a lot of fish. Fish oil helps to reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes, treat high triglycerides and high blood pressure, and to improve symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Look for a supplement that is 100% non-GMO and from wild-caught fish. Now, I love my herbs, and I did find a great supplement called Neural Peak that has a variety of the herbs. There are times that I do take Neural Peak, and there's other times when I take these herbs on their own. So it's however you want to do it, but Neural Peak is a great supplement. Let's talk about it. Neural Peak is a neurotropic, meaning that it was formulated to help support memory and cognition. The unique combination in this blend is crafted to help support oxygen and circulation in the brain, brain cells, and neurons. It also contains rhodiola, which we're gonna talk about in just a second because I love rhodiola, which has been used for centuries to support performance. And if you're wondering when do I take Neural Peak or rhodiola, it's generally maybe an hour or two after I take the fish oil. That's the thing. I don't really get hung up on the times of the day that I take things. I just spread them out. But there are certain supplements that I take together. I take all my fat-soluble vitamins together. They, they, they work well together. So there are some things that do complement one another. But again, that's such an extensive approach to talk about. So you really just, you have to do your homework. All I can say is supplementation requires, if you really want to nail it down for you, it's, it's a dialogue between you and your doctor of functional medicine in your own research. Always be your own health advocate. I say this all the time. So it's designing your own plan. And again, I can't really do a lot unless I'm working one-on-one -on -one. and still I'm always encouraging that you're working with a, a doctor of functional medicine and then we just kind of talk about what's going on what's been coming back you know different things going on with you don't need to get into all that we'll do that in a coaching session let's move on to rhodiola rosea which I love rhodiola rosea is an herbal supplement used to support healthy stamina so you can go the distance Rhodiola appears to significantly reduce the fatigue and burnout that comes from stress and anxiety. And uh, when you have a very aggressive workout regime like I do, number one, you're burning through everything. So you have to bear that in mind. A lot of people that do incorporate intense exercise do take a good supply of supplements to help with some of these things. So 
again, it's hard. It's hard to share and, and not because it's such a personalized thing. That's why when you share what you eat or what you're taking, it's so personalized that people always need to understand that you're only sharing and you're not directing. You're not saying, do this, do what I do. So just, I have to keep reiterating that. Sometimes it's because people don't take it that way. So it's just important to reiterate that. Clearly, I am not a doctor of functional medicine. Uh, another one that I would have a hard time not encouraging people to take, but you have to do your journey, is a probiotic, and I take 60 billion. Wouldn't start with that, would not, no. You don't want some of the side effects that you would have if you started on that high of a dosage. So start small, 30 billion would be great if it's something you choose to take or include in your repertoire. Yes, probiotic, 60 billion. Uh, this, the product that I take is a combination of a probiotic daily blend and an organic prebiotic fiber blend that naturally helps to support the stomach's digestive environment and the natural stomach balance. Great for gut health, gas relief, and we know none of you ladies need any gas relief. Come on! It's just the men, yeah, right? <laughs> bloating relief. Now that's another story. We all know what bloating is, don't we ladies? <laughs> Uh, constipation, leaky gut, digestive health, weight loss, immune system, and intest intestinal health. And then another one is, is again, probiotic 30 billion. Another supplement, great one, B12. I prefer a sublingual, but uh, yes, B12. I take all my B vitamins together, so we're going to move on to a series of vitamins I take together. B12, B6, B3, CoQ10, all together. So B12 is an essential nutrient involved in energy production, brain, and nerve health. It is necessary for proper DNA replication, red blood cell production, and myelin sheath formation. The next one is vitamin B6, which helps support a healthy cardiovascular system, healthy homocysteine level, and supports the nervous system. It's significant to protein, fat, and carbohydrate metabolism and the creation of red blood cells in neurotransmitters. Your body cannot produce vitamin B6, so you must obtain it from foods or supplements. And let me just chime in. The best source to get your nutrients is whole foods. Whole foods that come from their natural state. That is always going to be your best source. But often, because most of us are on a standard American diet, we don't get those nutrients that our body needs. Hence, supplementation can help. Now, I am a pretty clean eater. I don't, I don't wanna say like I'm 80, 20, or 90, 10. I, I don't need hardcore rules, so I, I, I'm in maintenance mode. I do, don't need hardcore rules, but with the intense exercise that I do and just how much I place value on my health, this is the journey that I choose. And again, the results are there. That's the important thing, the results. B3, <laughs> let me just say be prepared with B3. This one, yeah, not everyone's gonna, going to want to take B3. Um, you, B3 will give you a flush, don't be alarmed, <laughs> but you will feel the effects of B3 and you will get a flush. It's short term, but some people can't handle that. B3 is also known as niacin, and it can boost levels of good HDL cholesterol and lower triglycerides. Niacin also modestly lowers bad LDL cholesterol. So if you are someone that uh, has some cholesterol issues or your triglycerides are off, which is quite common, believe it or not, and often that is because of the standard American diet, those B vitamins can really help in that area. I will also put an article explaining um, the flush <laughs> that you get with, uh, with niacin B3. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not fun, but so. You were warned, <laughs> you were warned. It's very short term. <laughs> Sometimes I will be talking to like Kirsten on Marco in the morning <laughs> and she'll be like, mom, you are all red, your neck is all red. And I'm like, I'm having my flush. And she'll be like, flush? 
<laughs> yes, it's my B3 flush. So just, just telling you, I wish I could just hand some out to all of you so you could, we could all flush together. All right, moving on. CoQ10. Uh, this one was definitely um, promoted and, and pushed by my doctor of functional medicine. So that's why I take CoQ10 because I was instructed to do so by a reliable source. Um, it helps support heart function and helps promote energy production in the cells. CoQ10 is very important for the creation of energy, muscular contraction, and the synthesis of protein. Ooh, another herb I love, love, love. St. John's wort, love this one. I have taken it for years. St. John's wort is most commonly used for the blues or depression or symptoms that sometimes go along with mood such as nervousness, tiredness, poor appetite, and trouble sleeping. There is some strong scientific evidence that this is effective for mild to moderate depression, just so you know. Sammy is another one that is great for um, the, the mood health. So uh, when I used to train clients way back in the day that were on an antidepressant and they wanted to get off, once they got the green light to wean off, um, we, we would have, I would have the client talk to their doctor about weaning off and then going on Sammy, um, but another one was St. John's Wort. So just so you know that. We're going to move on to the fat soluble vitamins, supplements, and these are the ones that I take together. So I take the fat solubles in a cluster. Again, just spread them out throughout the day. Vitamin D3 is a fat soluble vitamin that helps your body absorb calcium and phosphorus. Having the right, right amount of D3, calcium and phosphorus is important for building and keeping strong bones. I'm sure many of you have heard that most of us, especially if we live in a condition where we don't get a lot of sunshine, like in Michigan, <laughs> where we it's just a lot of grace guys often we don't get enough vitamin d3 that's why we want to be out in the sun and then we've got all this spf on so now we're blocking the sun but yeah a lot of people are uh, deficient in d3 vitamin k2 helps support bone health and soft tissue elasticity we also have vitamin e which assists in the proper function of many organs in the body it is an antioxidant this means it helps to slow down processes that damage cells. Moving on to another herb that I am a fan of, ginkgo bilboa. Ginkgo bilboa is an antioxidant rich herb used to enhance brain health and treat a variety of conditions. Ginkgo is often taken by mouth for memory, anxiety, vision problems, and many other conditions. If you want to know more, you know to search the web. The next two supplements I take together, which is vitamin C and milk thistle, I just, that's the next thing I opened. <laughs> vitamin C is an antioxidant that plays an important role in the body. It is needed to maintain the health of skin, cartilage, teeth, bone, and blood vessels. It is also used to protect your body's cells from damage. Milk thistle, great one. Often used for liver conditions such as hepatitis and cirrhosis, the herb is believed by many to prevent or treat high cholesterol, diabetes, heartburn, upset stomach, hangover, gallbladder problems, menstrual pain, depression, and even certain types of cancer. The next one I want to talk about is magnesium. I did a blog post way back before I even did YouTube on magnesium and how I take it to help with sleep, which it is often taken to assist that. Um, there's a couple different forms of magnesium. Right now I take magnesium glycinate and that was based off of a doctor that works with uh, perimenopause and menopausal uh, patients. Magnesium glycinate helps relieve anxiety, promote better sleep and keep bones strong by maintaining healthy bone density. Magnesium glycinate also helps control blood sugar in people with diabetes and may lower the risk of developing diabetes. It also decreases abnormal heart rhythms. Another supplement that I do take periodically, which is an herb, is dandelion root. Let's talk about that. One of the most effective toxin removers, dandelion root is a source of fiber and vitamins A, C, K, E, folate, and small amounts of B vitamins. Dandelions are full of antioxidants. Studies have shown that dandelion root acts as an antibacterial agent and is excellent as a liver cleanser. 
Some studies have shown that dandelion root extract has the capability to dramatically slow the growth of cancer cells in liver, colon, and pancreatic tissue. Dandelion root is also used as a diuretic for increasing the production of urine. It has also been noted by some researchers that dandelion has the ability to improve carbohydrate metabolism and reduce fat absorption, which may lead to weight loss. Did someone just say weight loss? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will probably be buying dandelion root. Now, there's never any weight loss, folks, without the proper diet. Even exercise isn't going to get you there. <laughs> you cannot work off a bad diet. You know it. I know it. It stinks. We, we, don't, like, we don't like that truth, but it's the truth. Unfortunately, it's the truth. Yeah. Someone has to tell you. <laughs> it may as well be me. <laughs> Trial and error. <laughs> All right. The next, uh, is it an herb or berry? It's a berry. Or, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the next uh, supplement I'm going to share with you is one that I take for perimenopause symptoms. So th about 13 days after I start my period, I start using my progesterone cream. And if you want to know more about my perimenopausal research and journey. I have two videos talking about it and I will make sure that they are linked. Um, so yes, 13 days from the, the start of my period, I start using my progesterone cream and then I also incorporate some essential oils, which you will see in my evening routine video. I will have that linked below, I'll also put it up here in the corner. So some essential oils, and I also talk about this next item, um, but I also start taking chased berry. So, and I also found out about chased berry from a doctor that specializes with uh, women's hormonal health, uh, especially during menopause and perimenopause. And then once I start my period, I stop the progesterone and I stop the chased berry, and I actually stop the essential oils too, although, you could continue to, you know, use those. But let's talk about chase berry. Well, I really don't have much written. <laughs> I just have it's often taken as a remedy for women's health problems and for premenstrual support. So I would say if you want more, search that one. These are the vitamin containers that I use. Yes, you will see that they go from Sunday to Saturday, disregard that. I don't pay any attention to the letters on there or the days of the week. One container is for one day. So each little window that you would open has my supplement in there. So the S, which would be Saturday, is going to be the first round of vitamins. Then when I go to the second one, which is M for Monday, that would be second. T for Tuesday would be third. But again, I disregard the, the days of the week. It's just one container per day. I have 10 of these containers. It just works out that way. So every 10 days, I go in and I fill all of my containers. I keep all of my supplements in a box. There's no real rhyme or reason. And then my pre-workout drink, the Advocare Spark, and the glutamine with BCAAs I keep in the cabinet next to my water bottles that I had shared and showed in my evening routine. I, I really encourage you to watch my evening routine because you are going to see some of these things and I do show it a little bit vlog style. So definitely worth watching and it will be linked below. Well, there you have it everyone. The supplements that I take throughout a day. Now, there are a couple things that I'm not always taking, but I wanted to share everything with you just for some good information. Again, you will have to do you. Not everyone is a supplement taker. That's okay. Wow, that's perfectly fine. We all get to really choose what we want to do with our own body and our own health, but I tend to look at it from this angle. If you're working with a doctor of functional medicine, really encourage that they do a real extensive panel with your blood work and the results will be there. So if something's working, then you know to stick with it. And if something's off, then you know that you need to make some changes in modifications. And a good doctor that works in functional medicine is really going to be able to guide you in the right direction. I always encourage to get a good doctor that you can work with. 
All right, well, there you go. Don't forget, lots of videos in the drop down, lots of links to check out. Do your supplement journey, whatever that is for you. I will see you soon in the next video, which is going to be April empties. And then we'll also move on to May 1st, monthly motivation next week. So I'll see you soon. Take care.